So in this video, we'll talk about different aggregate functions in SQL. Now if you talk about a table here, so I have a table called as student. So let me fire a query to know the data in student class or student table. So let me say select star from table and if I execute the query, so I have a table with all these uh, rows and columns. So I have four rows here, excuse me, <coughs> I have four rows here when is student ID, we have name, we have marks and we have age and we have approximately I guess it is six rows. So when I say select star from student, I get all the data, right? But let's say I just want to know the number of rows in the table. So what I can simply do is I can simply, I can use some aggregate functions. Now SQL offers you some aggregate functions and one of them is called as count. So we can simply write select count for all the columns. So we, we, we can, um, can count the number of, uh, total number of rows with, with star here. So it says select count star from student from the table and if I execute the query you can see the answer is 6. So in total I have 6 rows. So in order to know the number of rows in your table we can use count star. Now what if let me just execute the query once again. Now if you can see we have some marks here. So we have 50, 77, 90. So what I want to know now is I know I want to know the name of a person or the details of a detail of a student uh, who has the maximum marks. So for for that also we can use a aggregate function which is called as max, and we need a max maximum marks. So we'll say max marks from student, and if I execute this query, you can see it is 95. Okay. Now since we are just writing max marks, we are getting the uh, max marks column. Okay, now let's say uh, I want to know the minimum marks. So instead of writing maximum, we can write minimum marks. And if I execute the query now, so we are getting the minimum marks here. Okay, now let's say I want to know uh, the average marks of the student. So I can simply say select AVG for average, and we can mention here marks from student which will give me the average mark of a student and if I execute so that's the average marks okay so we have 67.333 or 3 one more 3 so now we know there are four aggregate functions let's say I want to sum up all the marks so we have select sum and we can mention for marks from student and if I execute this query so you can see I have total 404 uh, that's weird it's uh, 404 is the type of error in uh, uh, internet right but anyway so the total number of marks here is 404 so what next we have let's say uh, so if in total the number of uh, aggregate function is it is just hold on let me just expand this you can see all the queries so the number of average functions uh, aggregate functions is 5 so we have count we have min max average and sum okay so here this count star will give you the number of rows in the table, min will give you the minimum marks, max will give you maximum marks, avg will give you average marks and sum will give you the total of the marks. Cool. Now this is these are the aggregate functions in, in SQL. Now let's say, now if I execute this query which is count star, if I execute this, you can see it is written as count star. Let's say I want to print as only count. So we can use something called as alias. So in alias, if you mention anything as the name, and if I execute this query, you can see it will show that name. So let's say instead of printing min marks, if I execute this query, which is min, it shows it, shows it is min marks. I want to print as minimum. So we'll say as minimum. Okay. So now it will print, instead of printing min marks, it will print minimum. Okay, so that's much better, right? Like average. So in, instead of printing AVG, we want to print uh, as average. Okay, so if I write average and if I run this query, so you can see it, it is written as average. But let's say I want to print as average marks. Now, if I execute this query, you can see that there's an already error here. The problem is these are two different words, right? And SQL treat 
SQL go SQL goes by word, word by word. So we want to show these two terms as one word, okay, as one thing. So we can use a uh, double quotes here. So double quotes specifies they are together, okay. Okay, it's not working. Maybe single quotes. Okay, so we can use single quote here, and if I run this query, you can see the title is average marks. Okay, so now you know what are the aggregate functions and how to use alias. So this thing here as called as alias. So that is, that's it from this video. In the next video, we'll talk about some more features. So stay tuned, do subscribe and do like the video. Thank you so much for watching.